Good everyone, oh, good day, good day. today we have a combo request by Rodrigo Trollin for the M4A3105 and the P40F10. Now, he didn't say which model of the P40, so I thought if I go with the F, I've got a bit more horsepower. But, um, the tank he's given me is very clubby, let's put it that way. I took it out last night and I got 10 kills in the tank and then came back in the plane and got a couple more. Let's put it this way, this tank is probably one of the most well-known clubbers and it deserves that reputation very well. It's essentially a 5.7 chassis Sherman at 2.7 with a worse turret. Now, if you're wondering why my speech sounds a bit odd, it's because I have a very painful mouth ulcer and it's right near one of my molars, so it is very painful. So if some of my words slip, I do apologise. But that is down to that. I'm trying to fight this bastard at the moment, so I can only apologise if I sound like crap. But, don't worry, shouldn't be too long and then it'll be gone. So, this tank has pretty good front armour, I mean 63.5mm, and obviously there is a slight weak spot here where the welding is. But personally, the front armour should be relied upon for the most part, unless we're fighting something like a Marder or anything with Swedish APDS, which they can actually pen the upper frontal plate, but not if you angle. If you angle, they won't go through. Obviously, our side's are very weak, being a Sherman, it's only about 38, well, it's only 38mm thick. The side of the turret's very weak, the rear of the turret's quite weak, and the rear of the tank is quite weak. This means that if we are going to be fighting anything shall we say, from the side, we're going to have to hope that we can swing the tank around in time, because, well, we don't have much side armour, and pretty much anything can go through the side. Now, in terms of our gun, we are armed with a 105mm M4 howitzer, probably one of the most well-known howitzers. And it earns that reputation very well. Obviously, the HE round is debatable, but it's all about the heat round, and that's what we're going to be carrying today. The heat round has 120, no, it's 130 millimeters of pen. I thought it was like 125. I'm not far off. We also get a couple of smoke grenades. We also get a 50 caliber machine gun, which you can see mounted on the top of the on the top of the tank. So that should come in handy if we're dealing with something like a milk truck. And then we obviously we have the typical 30 cal coax because well, you gotta have coax. For our plane today, we do have the P40F10. This aircraft is very capable, and obviously we do get a license built Merlin. So we've got a bit more horse, and well, I'm not taking the 100 pounders under the wings, they're kind of weak, so I thought, I'll just go with a 500, so then it's just easier to, Let, let's say we find a target and we want to bomb it, and it might cost us our plane, we can at least use the plane as a suicide bomb if we absolutely have to, and at least the 500 pounder will kill anything if we hit it, so... That that's the that's the thought process. If people wanted to see me take out the two one hundreds and the one five hundred pounder, then well, I'm sorry, but I just prefer this because that way I get a single drop and then I can go full fighter mode. So let's go move on. So like I say, this math also has been there for about well, it's been there for about almost a day now, and well, it, it's not often I get them now because obviously I. I make sure to keep an eye on everything in terms of a mouth also, but where it's positioned is extremely painful. Let's put it that way. So to say it's like to say it's counter like it is counterable. I've got stuff like um Bongello and stuff like that and mouthwash, but that's really the only thing you can do and it's very painful. But I'll deal with it. But anyway, since it's probably going to take a while, I'll see you all in the first game. Well, about 35 seconds after I said it, we got our first game. Corellia, I'll take that. That's a good map. We are going to be taking the route over here, because that way we can get to the position up here quickly. Well, not here. Over here is where I meant. And then we can hopefully go from there. Yeah, like I say... Mouth ulcer right where one of your molars is, is not nice. I'll tie it out right now. If you've never had a mouth ulcer, it's, it's painful. Let's put it that way. I mean, I've got a high pain tolerance anyway, but it's just like an irritant at this point. Like, every time I go to speak, I can just feel my molar just like, 
gradually touching it, and to, to be honest, like I'm I'm getting used to it, but even so, uh, it looks like we've got a 3-0 game. Well, that I'll take. So like I said, I've brought plenty of heat rounds. Oh, I feel sorry for this guy. He's he's a bit slow, so I'm gonna have to go around him. Hope he overtake. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead. <laughs> okay, I'm being shot up by a friendly in typical fashion. Right now I can't see shit. What if I've got to respond with gunfire? Like, come on, dude. I'll drop a couple myself, but probably shouldn't have blocked the entire way. But whatever. Oh, he's just been shot in the ass. A B1. And I missed the shot. Typical. No, don't! Oh my god! You fucking bellend! Oh, I'm just gonna guess that. Just lob it out. Well, there's the front armor coming into effect. Yeah, team, stop dropping smoke! Jesus! Jesus Christ, this is how we get sniped! They know where we are in the smoke because they freaking shot ya! Now, I bet some people are wondering, why am I reversing and not driving the tank forward? Well, that's because all the armor's in the front, and if I take a hit to the, to the flipping rear, I'm gonna know about it. Okay. Well, at least we can fight back. There you go. How's that on for size, you big son of a bitch? There we go. I'll break. B1's down to two crew. Let's get a move on. Jesus, this team loves smoking. Like, seriously, you ought to go and see a doctor about that smoking addiction. I mean, there's nothing wrong if you do smoke. I mean, a couple of my family members smoke, but Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see if we can flank the enemy team. Oh, hello, you've got heat protection. I know what he's trying to do. What he's trying to do is he's, there's a gap in the rock where you can potentially shoot through. He's trying to hit the upper transmission casing, which means you can penetrate. Right, there was a BT there, but I'm not bothered about him. Okay, you can just be blind as a bat. Oh, that is cute. Oh, you're driving gun is it? Oh, no, he's not. I think, he, is that the 75 one? The premium? Uh, no, it's the M. The barrel was too... Uh, I just looked at the barrel and thought, that was a little strange, but... He had the upper... Well, he had the turret face armor, which is an indication that it's the M. Oh, no, 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 yep! <laughs> That's one of the few tanks that can actually just delete us from this world. That's a Sarv M43 with a 105. He had heat. That's going through regardless. Oh, someone's not happy in the chat, but Jesus. That's one of the few tanks that can actually lol pen this thing. And I just naturally missed my shot because I rushed it, but... No matter. Okay, looks like we've got something low. Oh, well. It's a G Stuka. This is just poppy kicking. Then again, it's not. We're just going to put it out of its misery. Yeah, I don't have a backup for the Sherman, but that's perfectly fine. I don't really need a backup for the Sherman. 
That's a T-34 down there. And in typical fashion, Gaijin still seems to give me FPS drops whenever I record anything. Hmm. I mean, I could work with it, but even so. Alright, mark him for the team. Let's flip it back around and see what we can do. We're still going to get rid of this bomb and I don't want to waste the bomb on something lightly armoured. That can kill the 50s. Like, for example, this Panzer IV, I can kill that with the 50s. So I'm not wasting the bomb. Obviously, we've got to keep our ammo reserve good because obviously we are still a fighter. Oh, Jesus, that's flag. That's flag. Yep, it's one of them 37 German trucks. And the team is blind as a bat, the Chinu is not doing anything. He's just marking it, not moving up when the enemy tank fires. Like he should. I can see that flak truck turning to engage me here. I suppose we could try and long range it. We've got two crew members, we didn't get the gunner, that's what we needed. We needed the gunner, but we didn't get it. We just killed the commander and the loader, which is annoying. By the way, Gaijin, why do we not have any P-40Ns or anything like that? We need some more of these. These aircraft are lovely. How's that sub that killed us earlier? There we go. Got it through in the end, I just had to dodge the AAA fire, but we got it. I've still not dropped my bomb yet, but that's fine. Let's take a look. Cut the throttle a bit, just to help us out. Alright, Panzer three there, we've also got a Stuart. Let's go over the turret roof of him. You know, so I'm going to drop the bomb on him. That were a bit lighter. Ooh. Oh, that was close. And he drove through the bomb, typical fashion. Ugh. Today is just not my day. Today is just not my day. Let's see if we can get this Stuart. I think the roof on that's really weak. Yeah. It's weak, so that's good. And there's an enemy playing up, and we're down to 126 rounds in typical fashion. Um, no, sure, do. Should we go back? Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, it's over this way. Right, well, I'll head back to base, and we'll, I'll cut to when I'm back in the battle, so I'll see you in a couple. There we go. Back ourselves a HE-51, which is not much of an achievement, but it's still something. Now where'd that Panzer IV go that I saw a couple of minutes ago? Looks like the enemy team is practically dead at this point. There's one. Two. I see two. Shoot the small one first and then shoot the big boy later. Okay, wounded a crew member, that's the Panzer two. Swing it back round. Commit and crash. I need to lighten the load soon anyway, so. Great job, Beaufort. You had one job. I know this is overkill and I can kill him with the 50s, but I don't care. <laughs> that is just mean. 
That is just mean. Poor bastard, but oh well. And then we'll just strafe him out as the game ends, although it don't count. Now we got a box. Can Gaijin make it suck? Let's find out. Because I still need to do the MiG-3 talisman flight. Because I got given another talisman on the MiG-3. And in typical fashion to make it suck, as if I'm going to buy that piece of shit. I just still need a Corillion to bloody buy that. Still, we did pretty alright. I mean, I certainly could have not ran into the one scary tank that can practically make our entire armor useless, but even so. Would have helped if I didn't rush my shot, to be fair, but that's just how it works. So like I say, this seems to be a good combo, and obviously I've got one of my dailies done, which is always nice. But, um, let's put it this way. Yeah, I don't think the M4A3 105 is still, well, is top dog anymore. But it's certainly still strong. I've got, I've got to give it that. It's not weak, it is strong. It's just there are things a lot more in its own BR now that can just go bye bye. And, yeah, as you saw, the 105 Heat Slinger, there's not a lot you can do against it. And obviously with us fighting France that game, at, at least I think I was. Yeah, we was, because we saw a B1 at the start. Um, we could have even run into a Sherman 105 of themselves, and that would have been A, awkward, and B, we'd have both been able to kill each other. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the P40F and the M4A3105, and I'll catch you all on the next one.